Hi, my name is Matt Hines, and I'm the product manager at Isotope, responsible for the RX family of products. I'm here today at Sweetwater to talk you through what's new in the RX5 audio editor, which, as you can see, um, I have here with me. So the RX audio editor is fantastic uh, for anyone working in post-production or music production who's ever had any kind of an audio problem. And that could be you know, a guitar string squeaking, buzz from an amplifier. Uh, as I'll be showing you, it could be a plosive that crept into the microphone, distortion, a, a whole number of different issues that we can get rid of. And the main uh, premise of, of RX is visual editing for your audio, by which I mean, here in the software, you can see we have a conventional waveform view and what's known as a spectrogram view. And this is just an image of your audio by time and then frequencies from low to high. And then the brighter anything is in that image, the stronger those particular frequencies are. So I'm going to hit play on this uh, audio example. And it's a gentleman who was interviewed on the street. And you'll be able to see his dialogue as well as the beeping of a truck that unfortunately drove by right as we are interviewing him. That morning, they stopped at uh, Moody's Diner all day. You must know Moody. So we can see there's beeps kind of running across that horizontal line. There's uh, squeaks uh, up here in the, the high end. So one of the brand new features that we've added in the RX5 audio editor is something known as instant process. Uh, it's very accessible right here in the main toolbar. And when I have instant process selected, and there's a few different modes to choose from, um, I can do things like simply select you know, these little squeaks in the high end and just immediately paint them away. So you, know, you could describe it as sort of a magic eraser of sorts. Uh, you, know, you just see the audio problems. And if you can see them, then you can get rid of them, which is very, very powerful. Uh, we also have a replace algorithm. So that's fairly self-evident. If you see an audio problem and you click on it, it just replaces it with the audio that should have been there in the first place. So you know, I could go through and take out those, those truck beeps here, here and here, and so on. And uh, let's take a quick listen. That morning, they stopped at uh, Moody's. So as you can both see and hear, you know, those problems have been uh, greatly reduced. It's a very, very powerful tool. And we hope it makes spectral editing accessible to anyone, regardless of how much experience they may or may not have. Um, so with that said, I'm actually going to hop over into a mix that I have going. And uh, this is a, a raw mix. You know, this came directly from the console. So we haven't yet started mixing. And there's a few problems that I can use RX to address and fix before I get into the fun stuff, the EQ, the compression, and so on. So um, I'm actually just going to play a, a couple bars of the, of the song. You smell like liquor. You smell like pain. It's in your. So, you probably were able to hear there's a plosive hiding out um, right when he said pain. Now, I'm actually going to select this whole section of voiceover because I happen to know there's a few plosives in there. There's a live recording, so we didn't have a pop filter. And I'm going to send it over to RX. And this is another feature in, in the RX5 audio editor, by the way, the RX Connect plugin allows you, whichever DAW you're in, maybe it's Pro Tools, Logic, Studio One, um, you can actually connect RX directly to your DAW. So I, in this case, I hit Send. And now here's my audio file in that spectral view that I was mentioning. And I can actually see and hear in isolation these plosives. You smell like pain. And that plosive is visible here in the low end. And there's another one here. You disgusting perfume. So in the past, we were kind of stuck with plosives. If you had a, an EQ, you could maybe try rolling off some of the low end, but then you would lose a lot of that clarity and warmth of the voice because you'd be reducing good frequencies as well as the bad ones, the plosives, which are only momentary. So the new deplosive module in RX5 Advanced Audio Editor is a combination of some spectral technology, some declicking technology, and it's a brand new algorithm that in one click, as you can see, it analyzes the whole file, identifies, well, there was a plosive present here and a plosive present here. And it actually removes that plosive while leaving all the different frequencies of your vocal behind. It's very, very transparent. Um, I'll do a quick before and after of, of the deplosive module um, here. 
You disgusting perfume! So that was before. And then this is after. You disgusting perfume! And I'm actually using Rx's unlimited undo history there just to kind of step back. You can always remember um, what edits you were doing and so on. Now, while I have this file here in the, in the audio editor, before I send it back to my mix, I'm going to bring back my waveform because it really highlights there's a lot of inconsistencies here. And this is very common in, in vocal recordings, even ones done in the studio, but especially live. Um, you know, the singer might move around the microphone or get a little closer, and especially on a chorus or a particularly loud phrase or word, um, you just end up with a lot of volume inconsistencies. Now, that's something which, uh, you know, many of us might choose to address with compression. Uh, now, I love using compression as a, as a color, as an aesthetic, but not as a tool for fixing, because that's when it can start to sound quite squashed, especially if you have a, a wide dynamic range. So one of the tools that we introduced in um, RX4, and we have a brand new version of it here in the RX5 audio editor, is the leveler module. And what this does, I'm actually just going to hit process and then talk you through what happened. Um, it's going through my entire audio file, and it's analyzing the volume inconsistencies. And so you can see what I've ended up with is a very, very transparent clip gain curve. It's basically just kind of riding the fader, and it knows ahead of time, oh, this word or this syllable is a little quiet, so it'll add some gain. Singer was a little hot here, so it kind of backs off the gain. Um, and you end up with a, a very smooth, natural sound. And now if I were to apply EQ and compression, um, you know, it would not have to work as hard. It would sound very natural. And the things that we're really proud of, we have a DS algorithm here, and we also have a breath control algorithm here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and let's find a, a good example. How about here? Um, so I'm going to play this phrase, first of all. It's in your saliva that I can taste when it rains. So what you can see as you follow along this recording is that there was a breath here. Well, the leveler recognized that and reduced it with the breath control. So it's not quite as, <gasps> you know, when the singer's breathing and looking for space. And every time it detects an S sound, such as both here, oh, reminder not to instantly process your audio every time, um, and also here and so on, you can see that those S sounds have also been reduced because it's intelligent enough to pick out all the different bits of a vocal and then treat them all separately. So I end up with a very smooth and finished vocal sound. Um, and I can actually send that back to my host, render it in place, and now I'm ready to start adding more plugins to the, to the mix. And, and, making it sound real nice uh, and real special. There's a couple more features I want to show very quickly. Again, fantastic for, for editing music recordings, especially with hum and buzz, distortion, and other types of noise. Um, I'm sending over here a recording. Uh, this is the Wurlitzer track. So this is what I was actually playing on the recording. And you can hear if I hit play, when it comes in, suddenly the Wurlitzer is really noisy, and it takes away from the mix. There's a recognizable pitch that was unfortunately creeping into the signal, and there's that buzzy distortion sound. Uh, it's very easy to visualize that in the spectrogram. If I were to bring that up, you can see these big horizontal lines and my, my buzz, my hum, whatever you would like to call it, and then everything else is the, the Wurlitzer. So this is very easy to get rid of with RX as well. We have uh, a brand new feature in both the RX5 audio editor and the advanced audio editor called the corrective EQ. This is simply the most precise equalizer that's available. Uh, it takes the best of a mastering equalizer technology that people are familiar with in Ozone, but it actually allows you to create high precision cues, maybe as high as uh, 400 even is, is the maximum. And what this enables you to do, if I hit process, you can see it notches out, it notched out those frequencies that were particularly loud and obnoxious that I had set it to. But because it's so narrow, it's only targeting that exact frequency. Um, in this case, it was 900 hertz, and it leaves everything else around it crystal clear, uh, super, super transparent processing. Uh, so it's a very powerful corrective EQ. And you can also use it for general enhancement. We're not quite done with this sample, though, because if I hit play, you can see that 
This was the before. So we got rid of that. But there's still that sort of buzzy distortion. Um, sometimes that's just the noisy line signal. Um, you know, this is obviously, it was an old keyboard, but I hear this in overloaded preamps sometimes, harmonic distortion. As I mentioned earlier in the presentation, uh, guitar amplifiers too. So you have many different ways in RX that you could treat this. Um, certainly you could open our denoiser and select the noise here, learn it, and then you can just simply process it to take that noise out. Uh, but one of the hidden features that I like to show, denoise is in both versions, by the way. In the advanced version, we have this tool called Deconstruct. And this is incredibly powerful for distortion removal and, and sort of buzzy problem removal. So I'm going to give you an example of what it does. I'm selecting the high end of my audio where all that sort of is of the preamp. And this is where harmonic distortion usually lives, too. And I'm just saying, hey, just take all that noise down, in this case, by about 14 dB. Um, so take a listen. It's going to start playing, and then after a couple bars, you'll hear the unprocessed audio as it, as it jumps back in. Big difference in that the keyboard still sounds exactly the same, but that audio problem is, is greatly reduced. And this is really what the RX-5 audio edit is all about. You know, many of these modules are available as real-time plugins that you can use in your DAW if you're mixing that way. Um, if you also want to dive into the application and get the spectral editing and, and more power here, uh, you absolutely can. Um, if you're finding yourself doing a lot of common different editing tasks again and again and again, especially if I have you know, six or seven different guitar takes and I'm editing each one into a, a comp take, we have a new feature called the module chain where I can just gang up a different processes. Maybe this is my vocal file, like a denoise first, then deplosive. Um, the de-click module, by the way, you wouldn't necessarily think, but it works fantastically on mouth noises. The sort of, you know, they, they just get into that vocal recording. De-click can take them right out. So with module chain, you know, you can open up each individual module, get your perfect settings. Um, I could add, you know, a final touch could maybe be the leveler. Or if I'm using the advanced version, I also have access to the EQ match where I can actually you know, take two different microphones that were maybe on the same sound source, or if I have multiple microphones across a drum kit, and just match the frequency response. And then I can select, you know, any piece of audio. I'll use that as a, as a quick example. And it just processes everything for me. It's a fantastic mix assistant. It's really, really powerful for, for fixing up studio recordings. Um, you know, that's the, the module chain. The last thing I'm going to show, and this is a little hidden trick, um, I find I mix a lot of live recordings uh, with my band. It is very common, especially with live audio, that you'll see something like this. Now, this waveform is slightly offset in terms of the phase. And what that means is I don't have quite as much headroom to play with. So once I start mixing this and I'm EQing and compressing uh, and certainly limiting, those peaks just really start to hit up against 0 dB and I can get distortion. It doesn't sound quite as good. We have a fantastic hidden feature called adaptive phase rotation. And this, again, all through RX, there are all these hidden features for, for music producers. Um, if I hit process, you can see it just goes through and it fixes that phase issue. And then if I do the before and after, this actually gave us an extra 3 dB of headroom to play with, which is really, really powerful when you're mixing. So that's all I have time for. Um, but as you can see, between instant process, the plosive, leveler, the denoising tools, and everything else that's available, um, RX, both the audio editor and the advanced audio editor, are fantastic additions to your studio. Um, I record a lot at home, so I use the D-Reverb because my, my lounge is not the best sounding room you'll ever hear. Uh, so if you want to check it out, uh, you know, please do. And uh, if you contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, uh, they're experts on RX too, so they can kind of talk you through each feature and, and figure out which ones might be right uh, for you. So definitely check it out, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.